What's going on, y'all? I want to take a closer look at a new feature that was introduced in Studio One 5.3, and that's the ability to drag from the chord track down to an instrument track to create chords. And you can also take audio events once you've detected the chords and drag that to instrument tracks as well. When I first saw this feature, I was like, I don't know if I'll really use this or how useful it is. But once I got to messing around with it, I really like it. And it's going to make things uh, really quickly for me in building chord progressions, as well as creating things like bass lines as well. So I've got a track that I made here. And this track here is some piano chords. Now I'll play them here. Okay, so I've got those piano chords, and what you want to do is go to Extract to Chord Track, which is under Audio, Extract to Chord Track, and it's going to put it here at the top, and from here, we can select these chords, actually, I'm just going to select the first two, and then drag them down to, well, before we go that far, uh, this presence and my tie. So let's start with presence. I've got a uh, pad here. And on my tie, I have a bass. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take these first two chords, drag those down to the presence track, and it's going to create those chords on the presence track. And this is what it sounds like. Okay, so instead of that cutting off short, we're just going to extend that. Okay. And grab those here. Okay. And now for the bass, I'm going to do the same thing. Just now going to create the same chord on the bass track. Of course, I don't want a chord for the bass, but now I can do the same thing of extending this. And what I'm going to do is zoom in here. I'm going to take these first three off, so we're just left with the bass note. Select both. Select both of these, and then if you uh, shift and down, it's going to drop it an octave. And now let's take a listen. And just to, to show you what happens if you take a audio track and drag that down and you do have to again have it detected by the chords that also creates the chords and this is what that sounds like okay so yeah not as, as good as the other one but that is an example you can see that it did uh, create what it saw is the chords here. So there's a quick look at uh, one of the new features in Studio One 5.3, being able to drag from the chord track into an instrument track or from an audio track that has detected chords to an instrument track to create chords uh, for you know easy chord progressions. Have you been using this? If you have, let me know. Do you like this feature? Uh, they said that it was highly requested. It's something that I honestly never uh, thought of, though I've been a huge fan of the chord track. Uh, but any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite you to check out my podcast, The Faders Up Podcast, where we discuss pro audio and beyond. We discuss everything from recording to gear to the music business. So if you're an audio engineer, songwriter, recording artist, music producer, this podcast is for you. We recently started season two, and we're going to have a lot of listener questions on this season, as well as some really cool guests that's lined up. 
and giveaways as well. So if you've already subscribed and followed the podcast, thank you. If you haven't, it's available on all platforms, and I encourage you to check it out. Also, rate it and review it and let us know what you think.